Here's another pixie hack challenge. This time I'll get it going on 160 meters AM. Compared to 40 meters, 160 meters has some advantages. For instance, at night you don't get as much foreign interference and it has more predictable conditions for local ground wave coverage, particularly during low sunspot cycle years. It's simple to modify the pixie to get it going on 160 meters. The main thing is because of its lower frequency, about a quarter that of 40 meters, you need to multiply some of the values three and a half to four times. You might want to know what I'm using to generate the voice. The answer is a cheap digital voice recorder. I got it on eBay and reviewed it a few videos ago. I should point out that a Pixie modified to 160 is very much a novelty project, especially one on AM. Not only have you got the low output power, around 200 milliwatts, but you've also got the inefficiency of the AM mode. Then there might also be the inefficiency of not being frequency agile and potentially also an inferior antenna, such as what I'm using at home. You might only get a few kilometers range and are most unlikely to make random contacts. Test transmission. Test transmission. VK3YE at 2SL.net. 2SL.net. Test transmission. Test transmission. Test transmission. Test transmission. VK3YE at 2SL.net. 2SL.net. About 1.6 kilometres. We'll see if there's better reception out on the pier. This has been our look at getting a pixie onto 160 meters. As you can see, it's been a worthwhile experiment. If you want to get the most from amateur radio, check out my eBooks: minimum QRP, hand-carried QRP antennas, and getting back into amateur radio. All have been favorably reviewed, and you can get them for a low price in electronic form. Visit my website, vk3ye.com, and follow the links or search their titles in Amazon. You can also like the VK3YE Radio Books page on Facebook. The books are available in electronic form and in some countries in paperback as well.